What's going on everyone? My name is Glorious Mischief. Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. The last episode of Subnautica. And I'm looking at my base, and it's been beautiful to be down here. But I'm going to start taking it apart a little bit because I'm going back up to the surface because we've got to start building the last thing we need to get off this planet. And in order to do that, we've got to get back to the Aurora and grab some stuff. So, I'm going to take apart a couple of pieces, put them in my Cyclops, and I'll see you guys up at the surface. Alright, so we stripped her down to a little shell base. I've still got my nuclear power in there, and I've also got my water in there just in case I need to come down for anything, but I don't think I do. But I wanted to show you guys one thing before I left, which is that, if you remember, this place is like infested with warpers. And as I say that, there's not a single one around. <laughs> so let's see if we can find one real quick, because if you remember, uh, in the messages, it said that the warpers were looking for someone who was infected, right? So they were clearly looking for us when we were infected. Um, I saw one and then he's gone. So if you recall, they were looking for someone who was infected. And now they don't care about us at all. Isn't that cool? You get a good look at him. They're just like, Psh, just another creature on the planet. Who cares? And it's us. And it's super cool. So now, they're just friends. So, we're going to head back to our little base here, or to our, um, our original life pod. Oh, 69%. I don't know what would have cost so much energy, but here we are. Um, so, we're going to get our... No, I don't need silent running. Hi, Warper. You're so fun. There we go. We're heading back to where it all began, to our old life pod. It's going to be fun to be back there. It's going to be nice to be in the dang sun. I feel like we've been in the dark for like 7,000 years. It's been 80 full years. <laughs> so, we're going to head back here. And we are just going to start gathering the last things we need to get off the planet. Which is going to start with us heading to the Aurora. Which will be really fun. So, I'll see you guys there. Alright. It's a little tight. A little tight. A little tight in here. Ooh, I shall run into you. Run into you, friend. He deserves it. We didn't get poison in this playthrough, but I can't tell you how many times I've just been like scooting around and they're like, it's a poison. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Uh, I think I need to go around this. And then we're basically there. Turning. I swear, see, this is why I didn't take this thing around in the deep. Look how clunky it is to drive. It's like the clunkiest. Meanwhile, Prawn just crushing the game. So, we're back at our little spot. It's so fun to be back. And there's our base. You can see inside of it right now because it's all glitched out because we're far away, but it's saving it. There it is. Here's our little base. Woo! Oh, I love it over here. It's so nice. I love coming back to the safe shallows to end the game because it's just so relaxing here. But we have to do a couple of things real quick. First and foremost, we have got to go to the Aurora. And to do that, I brought the prawn suit with me. We can do that. We can go to the Aurora in the prawn suit. Woo! I just need to figure out which way the, the Aurora is. Right over there, to the east. All right, let's go to the east. And I'm gonna go there super fast with the prawn because the prawn is so fast. It's funny, because I feel like when I first started playing this game, I was like, man, the prawn is brutally slow. Just because you don't get the grapple arm, uh, Shazamarama. Once you get the grapple arm, it's so fast. So fast. Hi, Mushroom Force. It's so fun that it's like a little greatest hits of all the cool areas when you come back here. Ooh, I need to grab some titanium while I'm over here because I need to build some stuff. Titanium is 
what I need. So I'm totally going to take advantage of the fact that titanium is everywhere around the Aurora. So don't mind me as I do a little farmage. A little farmer arms. And hopefully I can make it out without any issues. But I don't see any issues coming. I don't even think I need to bring anything. I didn't bring anything to the Aurora, so if I needed to bring stuff, whoops. But I'm pretty sure I don't need to. I'm pretty sure I got through everything already. Let's get on in. It's funny, I never really take the prawn suit to the Aurora, but you know, always time for new fun stuff. And sorry, <laughs> just hitting fish. Ooh, I hear a friend. Pardon me. Titanes. And titanes. How am I doing? Oh, okay, I'm full. <laughs> Perfect. Perfecto. I know you're there. I hear you. I hear you, big guy. And you're very mad. Ooh, is that more titanium? No, that's lead. Can I perch the brawn up there? I bet I can. Let's get perching. Can you grab? No grabs. He says, I do not grabs. Alright. We're here. Let's get on up. Woo! <laughs> Alright. And we go. Run, 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 run. Past the crabs. Sorry, crabs. I got no time for you, crabs. And then we have the code. So we should be able to just run in real quick. And code it up. Right? Pretty sure. Yeah. Go through here. And through here. And there's the black box stuff. Don't need anything in here, right? Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Got turned around. Pardon, 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 pardon. Wait a second, where am I going? I'm gonna do the black box. <laughs> There it is. I was like, how am I going to turn around in the in the Aurora? I know this place inside and out. And then we go down through here, and we do this, which is the way I always get lost coming back out of, but I don't even need to come back out this way if I don't want to. And sneaky snakes. And living quarters. That's where we need to go. Whoops. Whoops. Don't mind me, fire. Woo! All right, sneaks. And then we've got the code we need. And that should be it. So, woo, sneakies. It's cabin, captain's quarters. And the code is 2679. Two, six, whoops. <laughs> Two, six, seven, nine. Open. There it is. Captain's log. Oh yeah, we don't need this. Uh, it's just a, a captain. Captaining. That's what we need. Ooh, but look at our little Aurora. There it is. Average long range transmission delay. Eight hours. Opening last to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. That's what we gotta now, build. It's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now we'll be sure to Long range communications really offline. All right, so that's what we've got to build. Uh, can I get out of here? That's the question. Always the question. I thought it was right over here, wasn't it? Am I tripping? Let's see if I can find finagle my way on out. I would like to finagle. Is it over here? No. Is it over there? That looks promising. Is this it? Oh, man, when you make it out, that's awesome. All right, through here. 
and back down. Isn't it hilarious we had to go back to the Aurora for that? It's like, well, a little detour to the Aurora. But it's kind of fun to go back to where the where the where everything started, you know, and just really get back to it. And plus, just seeing the sun in this game, oh, takes you back to a simpler time. When we weren't covered in green pustules, now that we're not as well, but still. You know. Back when we didn't know exactly what the herc was going on here. Alright, let's get out. And let's dodge our friend over there. Because the Reaper's right over there. Let's go home. Hi, hey, buddy. Alright, I think we should have everything we need. Question mark. Serious question mark. But we're going to start building when we get back. And then there's a couple of last minute things that I want to do, but you know, that's just for me. Um, well, I'll take you guys along with me. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not just for me, <laughs> but it's something that I, I promised to do. Um, but yeah, my son, my middle son, Blair, has been really excited about Subnautica. And um, he is the one who suggested the trash cans. So, don't worry, buddy. I got trash cans coming for you, bud. <laughs> so many trash cans. <laughs> but for now, we've got to get back. Woo! All right, leaps. Leaps. And we've made it. Aw, hey buddies. Missed ya. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and see what it's gonna cost for us to build this thing. Because it ain't gonna be cheap, baby. And we've got our little vehicle bay right here. Let's see what it's gonna cost. So, first things first. Two titanium ingots, a computer chip, and four lead. We can do that. Two titanium ingots, which I'm pretty sure I have in the Cyclops. A computer chip and four lead. Did I remember that? <laughs> That's always the question. That's always the question. Also, now that I've organized everything so nicely... Oh, sorry, I need to put my titanium away. It's so easy to just go in here and just... Titanes and everything's available. I should clear this out and actually make... I'm going to need more ingots for sure, so... Let me just go ahead and titan it up. Titans. There we go, there we go, there we go. And I'm probably going to turn them into an ingot just because I need to preserve space and I know I'm going to need more. So, there we go. Perfect. Oh, I lost a lot of water along the way. I might take a sip out of my food and water container, which is full of deliciousness. There we go. And... I'm going to put this stuff back in there. We'll boop, 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 And put you in. Oh, I already do have that one full. Uh, here's a computer chip. And here is my lead. Oh, I love having things so organized. Here we go. I can build the platform all ready, which I love having things ready. Oh, organization, man. It's the best. And jump on top. And go ahead and build that. Look how huge this is. It's insane how big this thing is. Marcus and Jonah, for the last time, Marcus and Jonah and crew. Get up there, dudes. Build some stuff, my man. It's enormous. When you get up on this thing, it's wild. Also, I said in the, I think like the second or third, or no, when we built the Cyclops, so the third or fourth episode. Oh, moon. Um... When you go in and play this in VR, you really get a sense of space for how big this is, and it's enormous. It's so cool. Um, also, fun note, look at that thing. Uh, but fun note, today was the solar eclipse. So if you're watching this, you know exactly when this was recorded. Um, but I got an awesome video of that stuff, so you should check it out on my... Um, it's a short that I made, um, but it's really cool. Hmm, okay. Let's go check this out. So, ooh, it's gargantuan. And then this thing's got its own little computer, which is funny. All you needed was a computer chip for it, but man, this thing is humongous. It's also really cool to just have the Aurora in the background while you build stuff. 
So I need a plasteel ingot, copper wire, and lubricant. Once again, guess who's got it? Let's go! Eww! Maybe I should move Galapagos closer to here, but, you know... I don't mind a little swim through the beautiful, the sweet shallows over here, man. <sighs> Alright, titanium. I actually have an ingot, so I can take two lithium out for that. Ooh, we don't have a ton of lithium. I might actually have to farm that. <gasps> Whoops. Um, and then I needed a lubricant. Right there. And what was the last thing I needed? <laughs> I can just check the blueprint. Um, maybe I can. Let's see where it is. Um, uh, copper wire, glass steel ingot, and copper wire, which I have. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go up here, and we are going to turn this into a glass steel ingot. Sorry, this is the first time where I'm gonna be showing the stuff being built on camera because it's like. This is the last little bit here, and this is what it's been like going through the game. If you've never played this game before, it's a lot of farming and building stuff and going back and forth. Ooh, I'll take a couple of those. Don't mind if I chomp. Just thank you. Um, and it's just so fun. It's such a relaxing thing. It's funny doing this as a playthrough because it's a totally different experience than what I'm used to when playing this game because I'm so used to just like turning on the game and just chilling out. And obviously, it's easy enough to talk through things for me, because I can talk forever and ever and ever and ever, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, but just playing this game again has been so fun, and playing it as a playthrough has been super cool. So thanks again for anyone who's here. I really appreciate you coming on the journey, because this has been a blast for me to get to do, and look how tall that thing is. Marcus and Jonah! Build it! It's so funny we get bonus Marcus and Jonah. Marcus and Jonah 2 so fun that we get bonuses because the other ones are right there all right come on baby oh, let me get a good view of it <laughs> look at my shadow <laughs> oh, that's so funny <sighs> all right that's almost done and then i'm pretty sure there's like three or four rocket pod thingies oh it's done look at him come back thank you for your work Ugh. So, rocket boosters. Plasteel, nickel, aerogel, and wiring kit. I think I can remember that. Plasteel ingot, nickel, aerogel, and wiring kit. I guess I could just pin these blueprints or these things, right? Yep. Why don't I do that? Save myself a million times of forgetting things. Aw, Reefbacks, where are you? Aw, buddies, I'm gonna miss you. Also, in one of my other episodes, I could, I was fast forwarding through like a part that I was just like scooting through the world and oh my gosh, I listened to the reef facts in fast forward. Hilarious. So funny. Um, they just like, <laughs> they don't sound anything like what I want them to sound like. They're like, um, they're like that meme dude, the ha oh, meme guy. <laughs> And I was not expecting him to sound like that. I was like super surprised. All right, so that's basically the last lithium we've got. Um, and there's my three nickels are in the deep. Nope, they're not in there. They're in here. Beep, beep, beep. Perfect. Now we go up there. I bet I'm going to have to farm up some lithium. And you're going to see my face get real grumpy. I'm not really. I won't really care. I'll get to go to the caves, which are like right by here. I'll get some lithium. We'll be good. And since I brought the prawn with me, I can go farm the um the big nodes of it. It's like a piece of cake. The big nodes. I can get like 20 of them in like five seconds. Um, there we go. We might as well get the rest of it all parted out into titanium. We've got that. And then let's go into advanced resources for aerogel. After a while, you just kind of remember the layout of this game. Especially since I've played it, I think I've played this game maybe 10 times through at this point. Um, this is obviously a much expedited version of it because I'm trying to go through the story as quickly as I can. Um, but man, it's like this game is so fun and the layouts become so easy. And before you not you used to not be able to do the pinning 
like the pinning of recipes so you would always have to go back and be like what did i need and now that you pin it's like oh i don't have to remember i don't have to remember what i was doing it's so nice all right let's do the base yeah it's so crazy how big it is oh the aurora in the background yeah dude so cool all right base number one i think there's three stages of the rocket maybe and this is the point where i'm gonna see that i need another plasteel ingot and i'm gonna have to go into the deep once again but that's all right lithium is pretty easy to farm as i said so there they go oh it's so cool let's take a look at it real quick before we get in there hey <laughs> check out the boosters man that's so many boosters get boosted baby Ugh. it's so funny that this part of the game is like the very last part and you don't get to enjoy it as much because look how cool it is and guess what we get to customize the rocket which is super fun it's also the most unnecessary thing oh i already have ion power cells for um my prawn i can just swap them out uh crystalline sulfur kyanite i've got them i've got them and then plasteel so there you go i'm gonna go farm up some some uh, um lithium real quick and I'll see you guys in one second. Woo! Made it. All right, cool. I have done some farming. And what I would probably equate to as, oh, <laughs> as much lithium as I could need for the rest of the game. So, and I did a little bit of extra stuff too, because, you know, while I had you guys off camera, I couldn't resist doing a couple of things. So, let's get back into some fun stuff. Let's do some building. And then I gotta show you something real quick. And it's kind of an important thing. Uh, it's my last little fun thing that I'm doing in this playthrough. Well, one of the last fun things I'm doing in this playthrough. But it's a very important thing. That I think that once you guys see it, you will agree, it's extremely, extremely important. <laughs> so let's grab this stuff real quick i need to grab the power cells from my prawn or prawn um but i can totally do that and then in the deep i need to grab one two three four i'm gonna put away some of this stuff right now just so i don't have it just sitting around and the oh sorry gold is what i needed to go to which is over here there it is uh whip 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 and the demo is the demo is over here oh very good uh, put the demo over here and i'll just put the lithium away for now because i don't need it so i've got more stored away in the prawn claw as well um kyanite one two three and then guess what else i've got more kyanite and then i gotta get the power cells from the prawn sorry prawn you're great and i love you don't be mad at me when you're when you have no power <laughs> but i've got more power cells that i can replace them with i don't need the ion power cells for them anymore and i actually can build more if i need them so you know whoops take them out sorry prawn all right well first of all let me show you guys the fun thing that i did which is this now my base is really stripped down right it's so base bare bones and i still have my one trash can and i've got my tree and it's you know it's functioning let's eat them and eat a little more get some more and but i built another space as you can see and if you remember my son asked for some trash cans and i kind of leveled up on that i made so many trash cans his favorite things are snacks i got him snacks he likes toys. I got toys all around the room and he loves hats. So I put a hat up, but I got all the posters up. I've got all the trash cans up that you could possibly want. So Trash Can City is back, my dude, and it is even better than ever. Uh, so yeah, that's our little legacy to uh, Blair and Leo. They thought that oh, those are my two older boys. My youngest is Remy. Um, but they really want a trash can city and so i got it and i got you guys snacks too snacks and toys snacks toys and trash cans what else could you want <laughs> i would i would posit you would want nothing more than that in this whole world <laughs> seriously every day those kids just want snacks 
And uh, I don't give parenting advice very often because I think that is unwarranted and, uh, you know, kind of unfair to give to anyone because every kid is different. But if your kid asks for the trash can, just give him the trash can, you know? All they want is your time, and your love, and your attention. If you give it to them, they're going to be really happy with you. So, highly recommend just giving them the trash can. <laughs> Alright, we got the second tier of the rocket done. And it's starting to get huge, which is awesome. I can give you guys a little level of scale. Marcus and Jonah, keep going. By going up the crane. Because I feel like you don't really get a good idea of how big this thing is until you go up the crane. So, let's go. Uh, a whip. Hi, Aurora. This is the secondary part of why it's awesome to build it over here because you get to see the Aurora from the air. So we've got that. Check that out. So the door, we can get in there now. We can go in the rocket. Ooh, it's so cool. Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Oh, we got some stuff to do. But first things first. Let's go. Oh, I could dive off. I'm going to send it down. Whee! That's so fun. All right. Uh, I need to figure out what I need. So I need to get back on the platform. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so let's go over here to the computer and let's see what the last section is that I need to build. I think it's the last section. Ooh. Cockpit. Shield generator, plasteel ingot, and enameled glass and computer chip. All right, well, let's pin that recipe. Get there to that one. I don't think I've got a shield generator. I need to to build that. So that'll be fun. And I've got my Cyclops here, so I can do that real quick. I'll turn off those beacons because they're just kind of annoying. Boop, 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 boop. And let's go see what it is that the cyclops shield generator requires which i have to be in the cyclops to build which is funny all the stuff for each thing you have to build within the spaces so the cyclops shield you have to build at this fabricator let's see what it requires advanced wire kit and wiring kit polyaniline and power cell well guess who's got all the stuff for all those things polyaniline let me double check polyaniline is the mushrooms no, that's hydrochloric acid. Polyaniline is hydro... Oh, it is. <laughs> deep shrooms, salt, and gold. Okay. Three deep shrooms, salt, and gold. Uh, oh, not those ones. No, not those ones. Where are my deep shrooms? There we go. One, two, three. Uh, I actually had a salt up there, uh, because I've been using my water purifier. Salt and a gold. Where's my gold, gold, gold? That was an advanced wiring kit, right? So let's see if we can remember this off the bat. We need a computer chip for that. We need two silver for that. And then we need a gold for that as well. Right? And then power cells. Do I have an extra power shell? I'm pretty sure I do. Yes, I do. Perfect. So let's build. Let's see if... I've, did I get everything right? Let's see. Because that's a big question. Polyaniline, done. Then wiring kit and advanced wiring kit. Do I have everything I need for it? Oh, I need one more gold. I was so close to getting it right, dude. So close. Luckily, we've got everything. Seriously, this is like the best way to play endgame because it's so annoying to have to go around farming everything when it's just right there. Sure, I farmed more than I needed to throughout the game to get to this point, but who cares, man? It's more fun to play the game that way anyways, just farming and having fun. Eating lantern fruit. Um, and then let's go and grab a, one more computer chip, which I don't think I have in here. No. So I'm going to need to build one. Two table coral uh, gold, right? And copper wire. Pretty sure. Copper, copper. Uh, do I have? I've got glass. But I don't. Do I have teeth? I got teeth. And then I need... Uh, the shield generator plasteel, so let's grab that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And do one, two. And then let's build everything. Let's get it all scoobered together. <coughs> Excuse me. Titanium. And uh, enamel glass. And then 
by stealing it. And don't forget... Did I get enough for the computer chip? I think I did. Let's see if I remembered it. Oh, I love memorizing all the recipes. Yay! And then I need to go over to the little bottom spot. And I need to build the shield. Whoops, it wasn't over here. I think I was completely a foolish man. I need to go over here. Whee! I always kind of thought that it was a little bit backwards that you had to like build it about certain fabricators. I totally get it, mind you, because it's like, oh, well, it's a very specific thing that you need. Um, but you know, it just kind of feels like, meh. I wish that I didn't have to go to a specific place to get it because it feels gross. Uh, since I'm living the life of, life of luxury over here, I will take one of my mega waters and I will drink it immediately. Immediately. Let's go over to our thing and then we're going to build the last piece of the rocket. There's, oh, hi, bud. Look at you. Oh, reef back. Oh, sending us a, he's saying goodbye to us. Isn't that cool? He just wanted to come over and say goodbye. He's such a friend. We're going to miss you, buddy. Don't mind that Sandra's all the way down there. Sandra is busy. <laughs> Sandra's at my old base. I didn't want to go all the way back to get her. Last thing. <gasps> Marcus and Jonah, your last mission. Oh. So that's the last thing we need to build in the game. That is it. And as much as I'd like to take off in the rocket right away and just zoom away and end this, there's one more thing that I want to do real quick because it's fun. And uh, I think that you guys will love it. So. We'll see, because you haven't seen one of the friendliest little critters in the game. Uh... Yeah. Neptune 1 rocket online. What should we name the rocket? Let's name it... Um... Let's call it... SS... Ooh, the SS Glory Town. Yeah, baby, I like the SS Glory Town. It's base, you guessed it, it's got to be the Glorious Mischief Colors. It's gold, it's black, and then what should this one be? Ooh, that one's kind of fun. Should we do red? Ooh, this is just an exercise in branding for me. Mm, I don't want it to be that bright red. Let's see. How does it look? He's kind of fun. He's like a big banana. I want Glory Town to be in a black. Yeah, SS Glory Town, dude. Woo, he's awesome. Okay, now what I need to do, last thing I need to do, I kind of want to take a look at it from the, the life pod. I'll do that in a second. But I've got one last thing that I want to do, and they're all going to hang out in the safe shallows because that is the only thing that seems reasonable. Oh, whoops. Seeds. I stashed them in here. I'm gonna put those guys in there. I got a mesmer. I feel bad just leaving him in there. I don't know what it is. I know he's in a video game. Just sue me. But I'm gonna let them all go. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited. What? What chomped? There they go. Let's play with him. Oh, he gives us a high five. Oh, what about this one? Oh, we give him a little hey, little scritch. And now they just hang out. They'll hang out here forever in the safe shallows. Literally, as far as long as you come back uh, throughout the game, they'll just hang out by your base. Oh, little scritchies. One more for you. Come on. Oh, oh, high five. Can I give one of them a biscuit? I want to give them a, one of them a biscuit. <gasps> Oh, where to go? You got it. They're so cute. So now all three of those cuttlefish are hanging out there. Just living the dream. No, it's really cute. I loves them so much. So much do I loves them. All right, let's check out SS Glory Town. <laughs> I never went up to the top of this the entire game. Oh. There's the Glory Town. That's so cool. Right next to the Aurora. Well, no time like the present. <sighs> Let's go ahead and take off and enjoy the last bits of this game because this is the last moment we're going to spend on this planet. And it's 
bittersweet, really, because I love this game so much. And I know I'm not going to play it for a while. For a long time, probably. I don't have as much free time as I used to to just play it whenever I wanted to. Bye, LifePod. Bye, Clopicus. Bye, Prongclaw. Bye, Sandra. Bye, Islands. Bye, Aurora. Oh, It's been so fun. Let's go through all the things that we need to do. Communications systems array active. Communication system. Hydraulic system. Hydraulics. Auxiliary power. Auxiliary power unit online. Mm. Oh, look how cool this thing is, though. Can you imagine building this thing out here? It'd be so awesome. <sighs> Flip on the primary. Primary computer systems active. Activate the life. Life support systems online. All right. All systems are go. Last thing we off. need to do is prepare our time capsule. So remember those time capsules we got earlier in the game? Well, I got a picture of it, by the way. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Select. Uh, and ooh, oh, you know what we need to do? Hold on, I need to go get some stuff. I'll be right back, because I want to I wanna make it a good one. I don't want to just give a bunch of trash. I'll be right back. All right, I'm sure a bunch of you were screaming at me that, hey, there's one more thing that you need to do. <laughs> Well, I'm here to do it. We got to turn off the gun now that we're cured. So let's do that. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yeah. The gun is offline. Oh. So cool. So now, oh, the sirens. Now everything on this planet is officially open, and everything on this planet is free of the Kara. So it doesn't have to be quarantined anymore. All thanks to the fact that we were friends with the Sea Emperor. So let's get back to the rocket, huh? All right. We're going to say goodbye to our little cuttlefish. Oh. Bye, guys. Uh, we had you out for just a wee bit of time, but you're so cute. All right, SS Glory Town. It's time to take us home. We have officially done everything we need to in this game to get off safely. Now, we're just going to take the elevator back up to the rocket and peace out of here. Oh, I'm gonna miss this game so much. I love playing this game. No, oh, but all good journeys got to come to an end, right? It's always fun to do it coming full circle, seeing the beginnings and the end of it. Bye, Prawn Claw. Bye, Sandra. Bye, Clopicus. All right, and because I'm a total dweeb, I put a lot of waters in there, even though it does nothing for me. And I put a bunch of foods and healths in there because that's how I am. Uh, and I also brought extra power and supplies in my uh, backpack because, you know, you never know what you're going to need. Finally, I bought Plasteel, Kyanite, Ion Power Cells, and an Ion Battery for anyone who's lucky enough to get this one. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. And, of course, Trash Can City, we got to put that on there. Um, yeah, if you find this and you can prove it to me, drop a comment or send me a Instagram DM or something. Uh, I'm on Instagram at Glorious Mischief. And if you do, I will happily send you a prize if you can prove it. So, yeah, show me your time capsule if you find this. But in the meantime, time capsule ready. we're going to take off. Oh, it's the end of the game.
<laughs> it's gonna be a tough one to say goodbye to, but it's been a good series. And anyone who's been here this whole time, thank you. Seriously, it's been a long series, so I appreciate it. Let's launch. Out of the way, pigeons. There it goes. It's so cathartic to see the unseen man. Debris field. Approaching orbital debris field. <laughs> I love that they do that, like the beginning of the game again. Field clear. We made it. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Oh, what's that over there, huh? There may be another part of this place. Hmm. Subnautica two. <laughs> Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two. One. There it is. That's Subnautica 2. That little ice place. Um, game is fun. But, yeah. Let me know if you guys want me to play it, but... Not for a while. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Oh. We get a little last moment with her. And we get to listen to some sweet music on the way out. Oh. This game is so fun. Unworlds, Unknown Worlds, uh, you guys have brushed this, and uh, this game was one of my favorite games for a long time. It still is a really, really, really fun game to play. It's definitely up there. Um, I feel like as far as, um, I mean, as far as sound design goes, this game has got everything you could possibly want. And the story is really fun to go through too. Just because you've watched this, if you've never played it before, I highly recommend playing it yourself. Um, there's tons of stuff that I didn't see and didn't do, uh, and there's tons of stuff to experience on your own. So I highly recommend you actually play it and check it out. I've been playing this game since it was in beta, and man, is it really cool to see how far it's come and all the changes they've put into play and all the life improvements we've gotten along the way. <sighs> really, I'm just happy to have played this game with you guys and anyone who's still here seriously you are a legend and a g for coming along with me so thank you so much guys i can't wait to see you in the next one and i can't wait to see what i'm gonna play next so in the meantime stay glorious and i'll see you guys in the next one to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits they gotta give you one last joke man <laughs>